Alchemy is known by most as a group of scientists that were trying to turn lead into gold. But if you know anything about consciousness, it is a fact that since the beginning of time, if something good was known to the public, the powers that be make these people out to look like fools or better yet some crazy cult. When things of this nature happens, it is definitely worth going and taking a look for yourselves and come to your own facts. Anyways, what is the hidden meaning behind these transformations of metals and turning anything it touches into gold? First of all, it definitely grabs the attention of all those who listen, but unknown to most, true transformation takes place owing to a person themselves. This kind of transmutation is surely priceless and leads to true riches in life. This being said, it does not mean such a stone or elixir has not been known to be in existence since the days of old. So let us dive into the magician's hat and see what we can find. This elixir of immortality has been known about and sought out all over the world since the beginning of time as a way not to gather the riches of the world but as a way to see and understand the world as it truly is for this one needs to have a completely different perspective from the ordinary perception of thinking for the mind to see feel and know the full reality of nature in all its volumes and multiple interactions and the best way to do this is through science, through discovering one's own world, as I say. In doing so, a person begins to see that this reality is a well-organized illusion, and that something e exists much greater than this dusty world. And that world is the true world, a world of life that does not die or grow old. So in short, striving for this understanding was the true goal of these ancient alchemists, not for the glory of gold, but for the glory of eternity. So what is this stone or elixir that has been written about throughout all ages? In ancient times, it was known as white bread and considered to be more valuable than gold. In Egypt, there can be found mentions of this white bread on the tombs of pharaohs, although now people think that Egyptians were just fond of their bread, which proves what the mind can do with information it does not understand. But looking from a different angle, there is much more to be understood. Pharaohs of ancient Egypt were in use of this elixir for the benefits of their country. They cared much for their people, and to do so, they needed to keep track of it all with only their mind. Imagine such a task. So this is where the so-called powder of projection becomes very useful. With such an elixir, the pharaoh can go beyond the usual limits of the brain and become his own supercomputer with great understandings in the th of the three-dimensional world and beyond. This elixir acted as a stimulator on the mind of the individual enabling him to go beyond the limits. In order to understand how this works, it is best to know how the brain works. And for this, you should study yourselves because I am by no means a pro in this subject matter. But understanding of the basics are enough to help. In brief, this elixir excites the brain and relays information much faster while also being full of the necessary information and answers to what it is the pharaoh is concentrating on. I will say more about these pharaohs in another video, but for now, let us fast forward to when all of this information began to be skewed by the minds of men. During the times of the 17th century, a lot of people began to be interested in this stone. It was said to be able to transform metals, give immortality, and cure all diseases. And thus, the great confusion took place from the minds of men, with their lust for life and all of the treasures of the world. Few people actually knew the truth of the matter, and being such great minds in the world of men, they knew it was best to keep this knowledge to themselves. 
With that, any chance to acquire this knowledge of the Philosopher's Stone was available only to those initiated and 